Hello friends, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is staying safe out there. We are all still at home, as I am right now. <laughs> and today I wanted to do a festival-inspired makeup look. If I was going to a festival, I would wear something like this, but the only festival I'm going to is the Digital Mirage one, <laughs> which is online, hosted by Brownies Lemonade, got a super fire lineup, go check it out. Um, but it would be festival season, right? Coachella is supposed to be next week, but... A lot ain't happening. Anyway, based on the Digital Mirage flyer, they have a very orangey theme, very warm tone going on. So I figured I'd throw something like that on my eyes today. I actually got this palette as a birthday present last year, but I don't think I've done a video on it yet. But this is the Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop. So let's get started with the base of the face. I'm gonna first use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a super high coverage concealer. I've been enjoying using it. I've learned how to control my use with it because before I was just packing it on the face. When I go to festivals, I don't bring foundation because I feel like foundation is just a little too high maintenance. I feel like it's just gonna drip off my face because of the heat that you're in. And I don't want to have to be running around, worrying about checking up on my makeup. I'm going to set everything with the Too Faced Blindness Way Powder. You want to give yourself as much protection with, from shine and oiliness as much as possible. Even though it's kind of ine inevitable at a festival that year. <laughs> gonna sweat and be shiny. Next up are the eyebrows. Gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow. For festivals, you probably want to use something like a pomade because I feel like a, a pencil or just a powder is going to fade and disappear really fast. Now moving into the eyes, we're gonna use this Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop. There are so many beautiful colors in here. Look at that. We're definitely gonna be using this shiny one too. I'm first gonna start off with the color up here called Darlin. I'm gonna put that into the crease of the eyes with a fluffy brush. And we're gonna use this as a transition color. Next, we're gonna go into this color over here called Perky. I'm gonna use my fingers to place the color first because I want the most pigment from this color. I'm gonna take a really short, fat, dense shader brush and I'm gonna go back into that perky color and just help blend because it's looking kind of patchy right now. Let's bring some of that to our lower lash line. So let's hop back into our fluffy brush with the first color we used over here called Darlin. And we're gonna blend the crease color with that shade that we just put on on the lids. Next, we're gonna go into another fluffy brush I'm gonna take the color down here, which is called Half Baked. It's just the deepest one in this palette. I'm gonna throw that into the outer corner of the eyes for some depth. I'm also gonna take that color and throw it into the bottom lash line. Let's do one last blending with that super fluffy brush and the first color over here. Alrighty, how we looking? It's kind of looking like the flyer now, right? <laughs> Next, I'm going to take a super shock shadow. This is from the Beauty Collection. This is 7th Heaven. I'm going to use this as a topper all over the eyes. Next, I'm going to go into another palette because I want to use a very deep brown color like the one here. This is from the Modern Renaissance palette. It is called Cypress Umber. I am going to draw a little bit of a guideline using this eyeshadow so I don't mess up when I use my liquid liner. Now let's move into the ColourPop BFF liner. This is the color Grande. I'm just gonna go over that guideline that we did with the eyeshadow. Before we finish the eyes, let's let the liner dry and move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to use the ColourPop Afternoon Delight Bronzer just to give our face some warmth. Now let's go in with a very orangey blush. This is Il Maquillage Toxic. Oh, oh my, I forgot how pigmented this blush is. Crap. <laughs> Be very careful with this blush. Okay, I think I kind of saved it. <laughs> It's okay, it's a festival. Ooh, let's throw some on our nose. How does that gonna look? Do I look, am I gonna look crazy? So it's like you kinda got like a sunburn. 
sure. Next, I'm gonna take the Fenty highlight. I'm gonna take Hustler Baby, this very golden shimmery one right here. Let's go crazy. I mean, this is a festival look. Okay, before we finish with the lips, let's finish the eyes. I'm actually going to put on eyelashes for you guys. I'm gonna be using these eyelashes from Miss A. All their lashes, most of their lashes, are a dollar and they're really good quality. I suggest the six pack. This one is called the Luella. And they give you one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lashes for like $5.99 or something like that. So I'm gonna put these lashes on off camera because I am not that skilled yet with lashes. Back with the lashes on. Ugh. Oh man. I feel like I always kind of apply them unevenly and one's like this and then one is like this, but it's okay. It's okay. Finishing off with the lips, we're gonna go with an orangey colored lip. Ooh, this one is called Money Moves from ColourPop. Ooh, I love this lip color. It's one of my favorites. Now our very last finishing touch is using this glitter from the palette called Hungry Ghost. We're just gonna dab that onto the center of the eyes for a little bit more bling. Can't have too much bling at a festival. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the- Can you guys see this? Oh my- You guys, are my lashes blocking the way? I gotta close my eyes for you guys to see. Look. Ooh, so pretty. And then the inner corner. And that is a Z finish of makeup. I kind of did my hair for you guys. To be honest, I only curled the front for the video. <laughs> I actually want to show you guys one outfit that I have. I was going to wear this to Coachella, but since that's not happening, I might as well show you guys here and put it to some use. I'll be right back. This is it. What do you guys think? I love this dress. Oh my gosh. And I also, I also added this heart chain belt right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> but it kind of goes with the chain link design that's on this dress already. I got this dress from Princess Polly. If you guys search on the internet, you guys can probably find a 20% discount code somewhere. There's a bunch of YouTubers that is sponsored by Princess Polly. So they got a discount code for you. Go find it and use it. Get this dress. I'll link this dress if it's still available but anyways yeah i'm just gonna go right to youtube right now and watch the digital mirage set who's playing right now flotodomus 4b slushy it's like everything everyone is so good and then tomorrow lewis the child party favor a track ikali alice in wonderland i can't even breathe oh my gosh you guys go on it find the link i hope you guys enjoyed the music uh the music video I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and enjoyed the look. Stay safe, stay at home. We'll get through this. We'll eventually be out there partying together in real life. So hang in there. I'll see you guys next time.